Hey everyone, Boom here with a quick tutorial on how to have your YouTube viewers chat messages show up in Twitch chat and the other way around. So I've been streaming on Twitch forever and I recently started multi-streaming, streaming to YouTube as well. And I use Restream to combine the chats so I could see what's happening in both chats. But I had a problem. My viewers, they couldn't, they couldn't see both chats. So I'd be responding to something happened in YouTube chat and my Twitch viewers would be like, you know, what are you, who are you talking to? What are you talking about? So like a lot of people, I just put the Restream chat up on my screen so that everyone can see it. But I had a problem with that. I have, I have a lot of different scenes, a lot of different layouts. I couldn't figure out where to put it so that it worked in all of my different scenes. I just didn't like the way it looked. And it, it, well, another story, it's against TOS. We'll talk about that at the end. What I really wanted was just for my YouTube viewers messages to show up in Twitch chat and my Twitch viewers messages to show up in YouTube chat. And that's what I figured out. It's actually really simple. I just have a bot relaying messages. When someone says something in YouTube, a bot in Twitch chat says, hey, someone in YouTube just said this. If someone says something in Twitch chat, the bot in YouTube says, hey, this person in Twitch chat just said this. So last thing before I show you how I do it, what really matters, what my viewers said. They get it. They liked it. It, it. They said it takes them a few minutes to figure it out. When they first look at it, it seems like the bot is saying a lot of stuff. The, just the bot, the bot, the bot, the bot is, is repeating things. But then they get used to looking at it. Their, their eyes adjust and they're able to see, oh, that's what the people in the other chat are saying. And the magic people between the chat started talking to each other and becoming friends. I'm like, oh my God, it's actually working. On to the actual tutorial. Hello to everyone who scrubbed forward in the video to this spot. We're using StreamerBot for this. If you're not familiar with StreamerBot, I suggest watching a, a newbie guide tutorial. Uh, I'm not gonna explain everything about StreamerBot. Uh, okay, I'll just give you really quick what you need to see if you're setting this up for the first time. You need to go to uh, Stream Apps and right click and add and it's over, add your OBS settings. You probably want this to be at five and um, that's your WebSocket. Make sure WebSocket's in OBS. Again, watch another tutorial. That's not the point of this. I'm going really quick. Then go to platforms under Twitch, accounts, log in your broadcaster and your bot account. If you have trouble, watch another tutorial. I wanna move fast. Under YouTube, also same thing, accounts, Log in your broadcaster, log in your bot account. Okay, that, that, that's all you get onto the actual tutorial of how to do this. It's really simple. There's just two actions. So the first action we'll call this Twitch chat and Twitch chat will mean something said in Twitch chat being brought over to, to YouTube. Maybe I can name them a little better, but you get the idea. Okay, so Twitch chat, there we go. So under our triggers, let me make myself a little bit smaller here so you could see. We add a trigger. The trigger is going to be YouTube chat message. So anytime there's any message in YouTube chat, this will get said in Twitch. Sub actions. This is the one little tricky part, but we, we kind of have to do it under core logic. If else, this, this starts to feel a little programmery, but it's not too bad. Uh, the variable is user. That's the name of, of the person who said the message. And I'm putting in my bot's name. If my bot is the person who gives the message, I don't want it to repeat what the bot is saying back and forth. I think we'll get into a, a loop and space time continuum issues. So don't do anything and then break, just oops, break and no more we're done okay so if user equals my bot's name do nothing then uh otherwise continue and then here's the real step which is in twitch chat send message to channel so over here the message come from bot or bro broadcaster i want to use the bot and the message is just as you see it here YouTube chat, then user with the percentage signs around it, dash message with the percentage signs around it. I, I, it's a little long. I'm thinking I might get rid of YouTube chat and just make it YT at some point, but I want people to be clear. So what will happen is the bot will say, it'll say booms, booms, pet monkey, YouTube chat. Charlie said, this song is great. Whatever the message is. So click okay. And that's it. That's literally it. There's just two actions 
There's just two sub actions for this action. So now we make the other action to make it easy. I'll just left click here and click duplicate. And this one we'll call silver. YouTube chat and make a few changes here. I'll get rid of this trigger. Just delete that. Yes, I want to delete that. And now I'm adding the opposite trigger. So instead of the YouTube trigger, now it's Twitch. Uh, where is it? Uh, chat. Chat message. So anytime there's a Twitch chat message, this will be triggered. And we'll leave this as it is. If the user, you don't have to make any changes. If the user is my monkey, assuming your bots have the same name, uh, do nothing because we don't want the bots to be fighting each other. And this, I'm going to grab it and copy this just to make it easy. Instead of a Twitch message, I'm going to delete this. Yeah, delete it. We're going to add a YouTube message. Again, we want the bot to say it. And I'll just change YouTube to Twitch. No, I'm going fast, but you can pause, right? So now if someone says something in Twitch, the bot in YouTube will say, Boom's Pet Monkey, Twitch chat, this user said this message. And again, at some point I might want to make that a little less spammy, but just for now, I want people to understand exactly what's going on. That's all there is to it. If you follow those steps, your viewers' messages should be showing up in both chats without having to Put it up on the screen a quick final thought on twitch tos twitch tos does say that you can't use an app to merge chat i think what they're talking about is what restream does where it, it's literally taking the messages from each chat and putting them together into one window which then you put on your screen now <laughs> i did that even though that violates tos I, I would never recommend that anyone violates tos that's not a good thing for someone to do um i shouldn't have done it but I, I needed some, it's it's kind of a bad policy because it, it, your viewers need a way to see what's going on. And I think they're going to change that rule pretty soon. They really have nothing to worry about. It's not like all my viewers said, oh, I'm going to watch you on YouTube now. If anything, a, a lot of my new YouTube viewers are like, how do I use those redeems? I'm coming over to Twitch. So I think it's going to be changed. But regardless, I don't think this new method violates TOS at all. I'm not merging the chats. I'm simply saying what's happening in another chat. I'm allowed to relay messages. I'm allowed to say, hey, Twitch viewers, someone in YouTube just requested that I play a Billy Joel song. Hey, YouTube viewers, someone in Twitch just requested I play a Metallica song. I'm allowed to say that. So I'm allowed to type it. I'm allowed to have my bots type it out. I'm just sharing messages between chat. I don't think this violates TOS. And I think it's a better solution than having it on screen anyway. I hope this works out for you. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions in the chat. And come and watch my stream sometime. I'm a lot of fun. I'm on Twitch and YouTube at Boom So Much. Thanks for watching.